Okay, we're set up at our location. This is our site for tonight. And I'm kind of violating a lot of my <laughs> criteria and rules for astrophotography, and that is to keep it simple. Tonight we're not, we're gonna go for a lot and hopefully something works out. <laughs> hopefully all three work out. But here's what we got going on. We have three setups tonight. We're gonna try to capture a time lapse, actually a ramping time lapse, Milky Way. I'm not gonna add any movement to it. We're just gonna use the live view to do our ramping for our time lapse. And I think we're gonna start it somewhere around, eh, probably, probably pretty soon, and try to take it. Moonrise is about two o'clock, so I don't know if I can get all that time on that battery. Then on the Canon RA, we're gonna do the 24 millimeter Rokinon 1.4, and we're just gonna capture uh, Milky Way in the landscape. And this is our view, and that's pretty much due south right there. So we're really hoping to capture the Milky Way arching over that gap. And then we're gonna use our new 80 millimeter, 85 millimeter Sigma F1.4 art for the Roofucus area. I always go at Roofucus. I'm gonna try this setup with the ultimate portable astrophotography setup. And this is first light for that 85 Sigma. And I'm gonna have a review of the 85 Sigma versus the 85 Rokinon uh, in a future video. So those are our three. We hope something comes out tonight. The conditions are supposed to be superb. They're really, uh, the clear sky clock, I'll show you a picture of that, looks outstanding. Catch you on the other side. It was very nice of them to have a picnic table right here on the dam at the lake. So this is working out for a nice uh, workstation. We started the live view ramping time lapse. We will see how that works out. Everything looks like it's going fine. And right now we're getting ready to combat do and uh, get ready to get the CWOASI uh, up and running. We are at Thorny Mountain Fire Tower, and what's unique about this, we are in the Seneca State Forest. And if you watched my last video talking about the Monongahela National Forest, 
This Seneca State Forest is really surrounded by the Monongahela National Forest. There are so many other parks, state parks and forests that are within the, uh, the region of the Monongahela National Forest. And what's unique about this is you can rent, you can stay overnight in the actual tower. It's locked, you can see right here. And so you can't access it, but you can at least climb a midway up. The elevation at this mountain is 3,458 feet. And it would really be a fantastic overnight uh, for astronomy. I'm on my way home and this is where we set up to photograph last night for the Milky Way and the Roa Fiucas area. And this is at one of the overlooks on the Highland Scenic Highway, which is also still part of the Monongahela National Forest. And as you can see, the clouds have started to roll in here. But we had two great nights. The first night was at Watoga State Park, where we're trying to help build their case for becoming an international dark sky location. Really had some great experience with the new 85 millimeter Sigma f1.4. I might put together a lens comparison with the Rokinon 85 1.4, but I got to tell you on the back of the camera, it's the best photos I've ever seen on the back of my Canon RA. I don't think there's much of a comparison to be made, but we're going to wrap up our trip up here to the Monongahela National Forest area, Watoga State Park, Marlinton, West Virginia. Have a great week, and until next time, clear skies.